and how are you doing today? Lady Leanna here with another edition of Tarot Card Lessons Made Easy, where we've highlighted the entire major arcana and a lot of the suit of ones in the minor arcana, and we're continuing on with that little venture now. And uh, I'm, I've decided to do things a little bit different from here on out uh, in hopes that I'll better help you guys by separating them out more. And that is by taking the cards one at a time per each video. That way you can refer back to that one video and look at just that one card up close and personal whenever you need it. And uh, today what we're doing is we're highlighting the Nine of Wands right here. And you should have yours pulled out of your deck by now so that you can follow along with me. Okay. And here we have a very protective young man who has... Uh, entire wall of wands behind him, eight of them to be exact, which is a number of power, by the way, and one in his hand to, in order to fight with or defend himself with, actually. And uh, the number nine is actually a power number within spiritual onsets. And uh, nonetheless, he has his head bandaged, which indicates that he's already been through some harsh battles over the subject at hand. And that would be determined by the other cards within the spread exactly what type of battle it was. Whether it was a battle in love, or a battle in business, or uh, just basically defending oneself against other people that may be harassing one. Now, back behind him, there is an entire wall of ones that are sticking in the ground in the upright position, every one of them, creating a cage for himself or a wall against others that he would defend himself in by keeping his face toward the opening and a one crossing his body there in a defensive mode at which states that he will defend himself devoutly should he be approached in a negative or aggressive manner. Anyway, he's obviously nurturing some very harsh wounds from the, the battles that were prior to this. And so he knows that he needs to be on his guard. And so should the subject of the reading that's being spoken to. And uh, let's see. It says that he will definitely win in the way that he is so determined. He will win as long as he stands his ground. It does show that one may be defending themselves against love, perhaps running from it even, um, being self-preserving. Okay? Now, in the upside-down position, it could represent being overly defensive, flaws in character traits of the person being spoken of, or two. Uh, one that is uh, really trying to protect himself so devoutly that he will ruin many different things for himself in the future. Being overly guarding, overly protective, overly defensive, um, he should lighten up and try to find the lighter side of life so that he can enjoy it a bit more. And by he, I mean he or she. Nonetheless, it's saying that one takes a very big defensive stance against everything and anything in the upside-down position and to the negatives. In the upright position, one is defending themselves will win. It says that one's own health would be in great condition, one that takes care of themselves very well in that way. And so their body's immune system is in a good position or state. If one is already ill with, say, an immune deficient disease, then it would say that they're doing very well if this card is in the upright position. 
very poorly in the upside down position. But uh, generally, your bandage is representing the fact that there's a wound there, and that's why it is a card definitely good at determining, you know, whether someone's asking about an illness or not. So look out for that. If that symbol crosses your mind, then you might want to check into it further with the other cards. And uh, in the upright position, it's talking in regard to their question that they're in pretty good health or their immune system is battling quite good right now, that they're right now in a pretty good state. In the upside down position, they might need to take the defense for their physical health just a little bit further. Okay, so you see how it can change depending on the situation. Now, in the upright position to do with cards of love, like I said, it could mean that you may be trying to avoid getting into an overly deep relationship. You may be trying to avoid love altogether. But it could also mean that in relationship, you are faced with trying to hold your own against who you're with when they are overly defensive, okay? Where in the upside down position, it refers more to you or the subject of the reading being the one who is defensive, okay? In a childlike demeanor. Now, like I said, the ones that is behind him could also be a cage that one is building for themselves. A prison that one has locked themselves in, being overly untrusting and so forth. Now, it is good to be defending against enemies when you know that they're about. But it's never good to be overly defensive, as the upside down meaning of the card notes. However, one could easily cross that boundary between the upright position and the upside down position. And you should take care that you don't become overly defensive, that you don't lock yourself down, preventing yourself from an enjoying life and growing within yourself, because that's never a positive no for anyone. All right? Anyway, this is Lady Leanna with the Nine of Wands. I hope that you've gotten out of this card exactly what you needed. There is a lot of room for you to add to this through, you know, your own meditating of the card for about 20 minutes. So I suggest you do that. Find different things in the card that, that maybe I didn't point out. Also, you know, note in his tunic, the color is orange, at least in the card that I have here. Orange is a warning color within paganism and uh, within color magic. Uh, so basically you can see his over, uh, overzealous need for protecting himself there, uh, shown through the tunic. Okay, well, also you have the pea green pants that's being in touch with one's inner spirit or their animal spirits. And then they have their boots, which are kind of a, let's see, also green more of an olive, that would be more combatant as far as its color is concerned. I do suggest that you guys start looking into colors as much as you can because really the colors in the cards do talk uh, in symbolism sometimes. They do add notes of things or at least they can within your mind and it'll open up new doors for you if you do so. Just a suggestion. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Tarot Card Lessons Made Easy. Please tune in again as we'll be right back around with the, the card, the Ten of Wands, and highlight that as well. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you would. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, anything that you would like to tell the viewers yourself, please leave it in the discussion board below. I will not be offended whatsoever if you would like to add to that which I've already said. Thank you once again, and take care of yourself. Bright blessings.